Queen Elizabeth II is the most important member of the royal family and has fine-tuned her own travel desires during her lifetime. The Queen and Prince Philip, 97, once had the luxury of their own ship, the Royal Yacht Britannia a vessel that also served as a place far from the cameras of the media for younger generations including Prince Charles, 70, and the late Princess Diana. Commissioned into the Royal Navy on 11 January 1954, the Britannia was designed as a royal residence to entertain guests around the world. It was decommissioned in 1997. When the Queen used to make state visits in the Britannia she would demand staff brought one thing in particular on board. Queen Elizabeth would demand Malvern water was brought on board for use in her tea, claimed author Peter Pigott in his book Royal Transport. This was just part of the huge selection of luggage the royals brought on board. For each state visit, the royal family brought with them five tons of luggage, including Malvern water for the Queen's tea, wrote Pigott. A surprising number of staff members also came on board with Her Majesty 45 in total, according to Pigott. There were plenty of other quirks to the Britannia both the ship itself and life on board the yacht. It was the only ship not to have its name on the bow the royal crest was sufficient, wrote Pigott. It was also the only ship in the Royal Navy on which the sailors were called by their first name. Life for staff was far from relaxed, however, and there were very very strict rules on board. Shouting by staff was forbidden at all times to preserve the air of tranquility that existed on board, said Pigott. All orders were relayed by hand signal, and red-hot notice boards were used if there were any last-minute order to be posted. The conditions could also be highly unpleasant for employees on the Royal Yacht as regal demands were met. Because of the continuous state function that required instantaneous change of clothing and linen, the sailors had to run a 24-hour laundry where temperatures could climb above 120 degrees Celsius, wrote Pigott. Another interesting fact about the Britannia is that there were no double beds on board at all. A writer Brian Hoey revealed in his book, Not in Front of the Corges, that Elizabeth and Philip had separate cabins when they traveled on the Royal Yacht Britannia. Hoey explained that when the Britannia was used for royal honeymoons, single beds would have to be roped together by the crew. One explanation is that many couples of Elizabeth and Philip's generation don't share a bed at all times. Another explanation is due to their bedding preferences. The Queen likes a longer turn back on her sheets and blankets and lace trimming on her pillowcases, Prince Philip does not, Hoey wrote in the book. Philip also allegedly sleeps wide open whatever the weather temperature. He has never used a hot water bottle in his life.